Hey guys, back with another video. Um, if you uh, like the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you like the uh, the, uh, the this this video, um, you go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Um, and if you got any comments or questions after this video, just put them down in the uh, comment section below. All right, we are gonna go ahead and get started with uh, Exodus chapter 13. All right, Ded dedication of the firstborn. Then the Lord said to Moses, Dedicate to me every firstborn among the Israelites, the first offspring to be born of both humans and animals belongs, belongs to me. So Moses said to the people, This is a day to remember forever. The day you left Egypt, the place of your slavery, today the Lord has brought you out by the power of his mighty hand. Remember, eat no food containing yeast. On this day in early spring, in the month of Abib, you have been set free. You must celebrate this event in this month, each year after the Lord brings you into the land of the Canaanites, Hittites, Amorites, Hivites, and Jebusites. He swore to your ancestors that he would give you this land, a land flowing with milk and honey. For seven days, the bread you you set for seven days the bread you eat must be made without yeast. Then on the seventh day, celebrate a feast to the Lord. Eat bread without yeast during those seven days. In fact, there must be no yeast bread or any yeast at all found within the borders of your land during this time. On the seventh day, you must explain to your children, I am celebrating what the Lord did for me when I left Egypt. This annual festival will be a visible sign to you, like a mark branded on your hand or your forehead. Let it remind you always to recite this teaching of the Lord with a strong hand, the Lord rescued you from Egypt. So observe the decree of this festival at the appointed time each year. This is what you must do when the Lord fulfills the promise he swore to you and to your ancestors. When he gives you the land where the Canaanites now live, you must present all firstborn sons and firstborn male animals to the Lord, for they belong to him. A firstborn donkey may be bought back from the Lord by presenting a lamb or young goat in its place, but if you do not buy it back, you must break its neck. However, you must buy back every firstborn son. And in the future, your children will ask you, what does all this mean? Then you will tell them, with the power of his mighty hand, uh, the Lord brought us out of Egypt, the place of our slavery. Pharaoh stubbornly refused to let us go. So the Lord killed all the firstborn males throughout the land of Egypt, both people and animals. That is why I now sacrifice all the firstborn males to the Lord except that the firstborn sons are always brought, bought back. This ceremony will be like a mark branded on your hand or your forehead. It is a reminder that the power of the Lord's mighty hand brought us out of Egypt. Israel's Wilderness Detour When Pharaoh finally let the people go, God did not lead them along the main road that runs through Philistine territory, even though that was the shortest route to
to the promised land. God said if the people are faced with a battle, they might change their minds and return to Egypt. So God led them in a roundabout way through the wilderness toward the Red Sea. Thus the Israelites left Egypt like an army ready for battle. Moses took the bones of Joseph with him for Joseph made, had made the sons of Israel swear to do this. He said, God will certainly come to help you. When he does, you must take my bones with you from this place. The Israelites left Succoth and camped at Etham on the edge of the wilderness. The Lord went ahead of them. He guided them during the day with a pillar of cloud and he provided light at night with a pillar of fire. This allowed them to travel by day or by night. And the Lord did not remove the pillar of cloud or pillar of fire from its place in front of the people. That was a good chapter. Um, it talks about, you know, it talks about uh, the dedication, you know, of the firstborn because, you know, in Egypt, when they were slaves, you know, uh, and Pharaoh had all the firstborn males, you know, killed. Um, but the Israelite women, the Hebrew women didn't, right? Um, so, uh, the Lord, the Lord commands Moses to, uh, uh, to, uh, dedicate the firstborn um, and then and then Israel Israel has a wilderness detour um, so yeah he's uh, he's given a lot of in this book the Bible, the Bible and he uh, you know God it's very strange how God works, right? Because I grew up in a Catholic church all my life and I never knew God, right? I didn't read the Bible at all. Not one time. I didn't. And the thing about it is, is that it's like he, it's like he, he lived his life, right? Through me through sin, if that, that, that makes some sense, but you know, because, um, we'll get into it later when Moses does the 10 commandments, but, um, you know, he, he reveals himself to you. You know, it, it takes a long time, you know, because, uh, you know, uh, you know, the 10 commandments are, are just, uh, just an itty bitty part of the Bible, right? So you just have to be patient and, um, you know, and uh, eventually find God and, and love God. And that's about it. Um, if you uh, like the video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you like the channel, go and hit that uh, subscribe button and hit that bell notification that way um i can or that way you can be notified when i come out with new videos and if you got any questions or comments just hit the link or just hit the uh the comment section down below all right thank you and i will see you in the next one